Odyssey Arc How To Video. Welcome. Stage 1 Discover Odyssey Arc. When you're unboxing the Odyssey Arc, find a quest companion to help you out. First, remove the foam cover. Then, after you've taken out the stand and the One Connect, reattach the foam cover. Be careful when you lay the main body down flat on the ground. You're doing great! Now, take a quick look to see if any parts are missing. Right, so let's get building! If you have a quick setup guide that came with the Odyssey Arc, then let's start by assembling the stand. Slide the stand into the groove. Then, turn it 90 degrees, like this. Keep the stand level and tighten the screws as shown. After you've done that, tighten screws to the bottom of the stand as shown, and you're done! After grabbing the top and the bottom, be careful when you're lifting it. Perfect! Now you've finished setting up your personal gaming theater, the Odyssey Arc. Now it's time to customize the Odyssey Arc to suit your gaming preferences. Hold on to the back to adjust the height of the screen. Once you've set it to the maximum height, let's rotate the screen by lifting one side. This is Odyssey Arc's immersive cockpit mode. Whether you want to view the Odyssey Arc in cockpit mode or landscape mode, by tilting it sideways or lengthways, you can customize it to give you the best angle. You can enjoy a variety of features in cockpit mode. We'll go over that in more detail later. But first, let's turn on the Odyssey Arc. Pass the OC cable through the hole on the stand and connect it to the Odyssey Arc. Don't forget the cable holder. Use the cable guides in cockpit mode to make sure the cable is completely secure. Now, plug the cable into the back of the One Connect. Oh, and don't forget that the Odyssey Arc also has four HDMI 2.1 ports. You're finally ready to turn on the Odyssey Arc. This is the Arc Dial, which is the true mark of an Odyssey Arc owner. Use it to control easily from your fingertips. The Arc Dial can be charged with a solar cell and also with USB-C charging. First, take off the power protective tape. Now, press the power button. Whoa, it's so nice to meet you, Odyssey Arc! Let's go through the basic settings one by one. They're super simple, I promise. Let's start by taking a closer look at the arc dial. These are the volume buttons. And this is the source button. You can press the source button to change the input source. The return button takes you back to the previous menu. Shall we check menu button? A menu will appear on your screen. It's been easy so far, right? You've got this. Well done, you've cleared stage one. 